there, my name is Heather Dorston. I'm the executive director here at Learning Tree Farm. Uh, you normally see me with my guitar and I'm singing some songs, but I'm really excited today because I can bring you a book. It's a beautiful day here at Learning Tree Farm, so we are out in the woods where we have our hiking trails. And I have a new book called Hiking Day. And I just ordered this book for my son and uh, we're using it here at the farm as well because we've noticed a lot of uh, the nature education books for children's literature don't have a lot of diversity. And this is one that we are really excited that we can now share with everybody. So we're gonna dive on in. This is Hiking Day by Anne Rockwell. Chipmunk. Today, my mother, my father, and I are going to climb Hickory Hill. That's the mountain I see from my window. It looks like a mountain to me, but everyone calls it Hickory Hill. I put on my sturdy sneakers, find my flappy hat, and fill my water bottle. The ride from our house to Hickory Hill takes about 20 minutes. As we drive, I see fewer and fewer houses and more and more tall trees. As soon as we park the car, we check the map to see which trail to follow. Trails are like paths cut through the woods. We choose the red one. It's my favorite color. You see the red trail right there. The minute we step onto the trail, we are surrounded by tall trees. We can't see the sky. The ground is covered with leaves and ferns. It looks like the inside of my mother's terrarium. It is so quiet. I can hear my sneakers crunching the ground. I wonder what season it is if the leaves are crunching. I'd asked my son that and I think he immediately went to fall. As we climb higher up Hickory Hill, a fat toad leaps in front of us. Ribbit, ribbit, it says. I kneel down to look at him. His colors match the floor of the woods and the tree bark. You see him right there? He's camouflaged in there. Hey, says my father, where is the red trail marker? Uh-oh, mom says, where can it be? Are we lost, I wonder? We look at all the tree trunks around us and then we notice a prickly porcupine slowly climbing a tree. As she moves up the trunk, I see a red mark appear. I found it, I cry. We begin hiking again. I hear a loud tap, 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 tap. It sounds like someone is using a hammer. A little chipmunk puts a hickory nut in her mouth and scurries through the leaves. Getting ready for winter, my father says. And if you look really closely, I think our toad friend's hiding over there. And if we're wondering who that tap, tap, tap sound might be. The tap, tap, tap gets louder. My mother points up and I see a woodpecker making a hole in the tree. He's looking for insects hiding inside, she tells me. He uses his beak to make the hole bigger and find good things to eat. Bugs, yuck, says dad and I. I think that's called a pileated woodpecker. He's a really big woodpecker and it's pretty exciting if you get to see one. We see some yellow mushrooms and red berries growing on a bush, but that beautiful friendly toad is gone. Maybe he decided to hike down Hickory Hill instead of hiking up with us. Soon we stop for a drink of water. All of a sudden I know someone is looking at me. I slowly turn to see a deer with wide antlers. He leaps away so fast that no one sees him but me. The more we walk, the more I notice the trees are not so tall. The ground is rockier. Now I can see bits of blue sky and even an airplane flying across the sky. Suddenly the ground below my feet isn't the woodland floor. It's a big flat rock. We're at the summit, my father tells me. The top of Hickory Hill. We did it, I say. 
We all sit down on the sunny, warm rock, and guess who jumps up to be with us? The fat, friendly toad. It's right there. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book. I think it's a wonderful one. I'm really excited to be able to share this with you today. And I hope you join us for a hike very soon.